Is there anybody that wasn't able to create their own trend line? Their own y equals mx plus b. Is there anybody that's stuck? Are we all on this page? Does anybody have any questions before we move forward? We doing okay? All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to plug this information over here. So click on this tab. Well, what was my slope? My slope, or no, I'm sorry, let's fill in the y-intercept. Let me zoom in so you guys can see this a little better in the pack. Maybe we'll do this. Yeah. My y-intercept was, if you were to guess, what's my y-intercept? 22.7. So you'll have your own y-intercept. Plug that number in here. Whatever that number you have, right? Remember, this is y equals mx plus b. So this is my slope, and this is my y-intercept. Okay? So my, my y-intercept was 22.7. And then my slope was... 0.23. So for me, my slope was a positive 0.23, and I plug that in there. Okay? So you plug in your y-intercept, and you plug in your slope. The next thing I want us to do is go all the way down to the bottom. And see this right here? Whatever that value is, we're going to plug that into the current price. All right? So mine is 236. Actually, let's do it a different way. Let, here, I'll show you a little trick. Right here where it says value in 2023, what I'd like for you to do is go up here to where it says function notation. Hit the equal sign. So go up there and hit the equal sign. And the reason we're setting it up this way is we're going to pull this value from this thing way down here. So now, while this equal sign is still here, over to the side, just kind of scroll down to the bottom. And then you're going to click on this number right here. Just click on that number. Now look up here, it'll say like C1258, just hit enter. Okay, and when you do that, if you scroll back up to the top, it'll automatically put that value in. Now, when we copy and paste this, it, when we plug all these values in, it'll automatically do this for us. Because I'm going to make a copy of this in a second. Okay. Um, I'm going to change some of this format stuff. So give me one second. I'm going to change this back to reset. And then I'm also going to make sure that I put the borders back on there. So when you copy and paste, it'll get rid of the borders. Remember, to put the borders in there, you just click on C and click on the borders like this. All right. Now, I don't know how many shares I'm going to invest. I don't know I don't know any of that stuff because I got to make a prediction of what it, what the value will be in 20 uh, 43. Now we're going to approximate how many days that will be, right? So now this is an interesting thing. To approximate the number of days we have to figure out how many stock market days will happen in 20 years, right? So this is easier than you think, all right? Well, we, we know that, so click on the effects thing. So go, go here, click on that, make sure that's highlighted, okay? Then go up here to the effects and hit equals. All right. We know that in a five year period, we had 1,256 days. It's actually 1,257, right? So we're going to say 1,257. That's the number of days. Now that's for a five year period. So how many five-year periods are there in 20? 
4. So we're going to hit Shift 8, and that will put the multiplication symbol times 4. So you're going to put the formula in here, equals, you got to have the equal sign, okay? 1257 times 4, and then it'll, it should pop up and say 5,028. Or you could just type in 5,028. Okay? We're almost done. I see some of you looking at your, your watches and looking at my clock. We're almost done. So now, to approximate the value of shares, click on this, this uh, cell right here, the value of the share in 2043, and go back up here and type in equals. Now we want to use the equation of the line, mx plus b. So what we're going to do is the slope is this thing here, right? So I'm going to click this. When I click on that symbol, it puts in H2 over there. Also notice that it says, well, that value is 0.23. Then I'm going to hit Shift 8, right? So it's M times X, but X is the number of days. So I've got H2 times. Then we're going to click over here. Okay, and so now I have H2 times J2, so it's MX plus, so I'm going to hit uh, the plus button, and plus B, which is what? The Y-intercept, so what you're going to do is you're going to click this. So you should have H2, and unless you typed it in the wrong section, like maybe you went over one too many, but it should look something like H2 times J2 plus G2. Okay, the letters might change if you went over too many sections or something like that. But that's the equation, MX plus B. It's the slope times the number of days plus the y-intercept. When I hit enter, boom. That's what I get. So one share of Tesla should be, if it if it continues on that linear progression, $1,179. Now, the last thing I want you guys to do is click here, and we're going to format that as currency. So click on Format, click on Number, and scroll down here to Currency, and I'll put a little dollar sign on it. 